Hello friends, welcome back to our channel London Dreams. Here we are going to share you some information about the widely used transport system in London along with the travel card that will help you to travel within London and use all the transport systems with the help of this card. So if you are visiting London for the first time, then you are going to need to know how to use London's transport system. Today, I will run through the B6 plus a few tips so you can be using the London transport system like a local. The first thing that you need to know is some of the slang or local terminology that we use. The most common one is tube. So the tube is the train that runs in the London underground that works. So we wouldn't call it a train. We would say it, it's the tube or a tube station, which is a London underground station. And that's where you catch the tube from. So tube is basically the replacement word for train. And we will just interchange that with different words. The next one is TFL, which stands for transport for London. There are a couple of modes of transports. So we have already covered off the tube, which is underground network. Next is the buses. So you will get both double decker buses and single story buses and they will be all in red color. Most people like to go on the double decker buses right up to the front seat. So when you're going through London, you can see some of the iconic attractions. We then have what's called the National Rail. National Rail is the na national service that runs through Scotland, Wales and England. And this is where you do majority of your long distance travel. And they do have services that go a bit further outside of London too. You will hear the overground, uh, which is slightly different than the underground. It's a whole overground network, but that is also run by TFL. Then we have a few other modes of transport. So we have the Thames Clipper. This is the ferry across the Thames. One of the ways that I recommend using the ferry is if you want to go from the Tower of London to Gr Greenwich. It's a lot quicker route to get there. Next is the Emirates cave, Cable Car. This is mainly a tourist uh, attraction. We don't really use it much as a local, but it is a little bit of fun to catch. And finally, we do have some trams. These are mainly run on the outskirts of London. So if you're kind of staying in central London, you won't see any trams at all. There are a couple of ways that you can get access to the London transport system. So one is an Oyster card or you can use a contactless card. So a contactless card is one that you can use uh, just by tapping on and pay. Not all countries have access to this. So you need to double check whether your card is compatible with the contactless system. And if you have got Apple Pay or Google Pay on your phone, then you can also tap it. There is also a visitor's version of the Oyster card that, can, that you can buy and they will give you all the discounts. So they might give you 10% off uh, to the London Eye, for example. So that can be a good idea. If you're looking for some savings on attractions and you can get sent the visitor Oyster card to your home address before you arrive here. Also, there is a student Oyster card which gives special discount to student. This you need to apply online and the university needs to approve your request to get a photo student Oyster card. While going for a new card, it gives you two options whether to do a top up, pay as you go or you buy a travel card. So which one you should get? Well, if you are only here for a couple of days, then I recommend getting the pay as you go. Both the Oyster and the contactless, they all apply daily capping. So if you take three or more journeys, then you will be capped at the zonal prices. If you are only here for a day, then you might want to get a paper ticket. So a daily travel card and this will give you full access to the network, both the trains and the buses. If you are here for more than five days, then I recommend getting a weekly pass. If you are using an Oyster card, then you will need to add this manually to your card. So when you go to the machine, just select the seven day travel card option. If you're using a contactless card, then this will automatically apply weekly capping. So this is one of the benefits over the Oyster card. This will just do it automatically for you. The reason I recommend getting a weekly card is it can save you 15 to 20 pounds in the week. 
if you ever want to know how much is on your oyster card then just come up to one of the machines and press on the yellow card reader and it will tell you your current balance and then you can top up or add a season ticket if you wish if you plan on traveling around great britain and you want to save some extra cash then get a rail card a rail card will give you one by third of national rail but the additional benefit is that you can add it to your oyster card which will give you one by third off in the off peak fares so you can save even more money by adding your rail card too you can get a rail card if you are living overseas and you can also get one of which uh, when you're leaving here locally i leave the link in the description below on how you can go about getting a rail card to quickly explain the tube map and the difference between the tube and national rail the solid lines means that it is the tfl or underground only so the tube and the ones with the dotted lines means that this is national rail so anything that's on this map that is in a zonal location will be included in the oyster travel this map is really handy to get to know as it will cover everything that you need to know the pricings and where you can go with your oyster card as well will be included in this map here you can see all the keys to the lines and the symbols so here are all the lines that run on tfl and here are all the lines that run on the national rail prices and then you can see where the river boats are the coach stations are and the airport and bus transfers to the transports are to the airport are now that you have got your oyster card let's show you uh, how to use it so if you're using any of the rail networks so this includes the tube the overground or national rail they all work in the same way you tap into the station and you tap out of the station if you forget to tap in or tap out then you may be charged with a penalty fare and this can be easily rectified on the tfl website so for example if i was going from paddington to bond street and i forgot to top tap out then it would show on the website that i had a fare leaving from uh, paddington but they didn't know where i exited so i will be charged the maximum fare all i need to do is log on to the system and say that i went to bond street and then i will be charged the appropriate fare for buses all you need to do is tap in once and that's it they did bring in an initiative a couple of years ago where you can catch two buses within an hour so that's super handy to know so this brings us to the end of our part 4 video on the channel London Dreams. If you like the content shared by us in the video, please do like, subscribe and share our channel. 